In the early hours of Wednesday morning, the activists set off in speedboats towards the rig. They filmed the armed Russian Coast Guard in pursuit. Clambering up ropes in the icy Arctic waters, two of the climbers managed to hook themselves on. Clinging to the side of the Russian oil rig through the force of the water cannon trained on them above. They claim their safety boats were rammed repeatedly from below. Watch out. The Russian Coast Guard later fired a series of warning shots before boarding and reportedly seizing the Greenpeace ship. A helicopter hoved into view on the horizon. It came over the heli deck of the Arctic Sunrise and a rope appeared and then about 15 or 16 commandos abseiled down onto the ship. He said they were armed with uh, handguns, rifles and knives and that they began rounding up the crew. There is no footage of what happened next, but from their Twitter feed, the crew of the Arctic Sunrise sent this. Russian authorities on board with guns. They're breaking into the comms room now. Latest from the deck, crew are sitting on their knees in the helipad with guns pointed at them. This is pretty terrifying. Loud banging, screaming in Russian. They're still trying to kick in the door. One hour later came this. No contact to the Arctic Sunrise anymore. Greenpeace will continue to tweet updates here. The last known position of the Arctic Sunrise showed it moving west towards the Russian port of Murmansk. Russia's foreign ministry confirmed the ship had been detained and said the activists' aggressive actions endangered people's lives. Greenpeace insists this was an entirely peaceful protest, but the only danger here is to the Arctic from Russia's plans to drill for its oil. Katie Stallard, Sky News, Moscow.